Did you know that sharks and rays are related? Hey guys, it's Brandon, and welcome to Nature Meets Paper, the place where we go on an adventure to discover the world of marine biology. Before we begin, I want to let you know that July and August are very busy times for me. The summer is typically when I go on my adventures to find the content for the next season. I plan on having my videos up every Saturday at 8 a.m., just as usual, but if that has to change, I will let you know. Oh. Also, the season 2 finale is coming up. I have it scheduled for July 29th. I'll be taking August off so that I can go on adventures and find and discover new animals for you guys for season 3. And then I'll be back in mid-September. I need time to organize all my photos, get them all into a catalog, and then I need to create content and start doing research for season 3 in advance so that I'm not doing this whole weekly thing like the week of a video. That is all for now. Today we're going to be learning about the Hawaiian Broad Stingray. Are you ready? Let's dive in. The Hawaiian Broad Stingray is native to Hawaii and has yet to be confirmed in Taiwan and Tahiti. I created a map as a visual. Scientists are conducting studies to determine if the Taiwan and Tahiti rays are genetically the same species as the Hawaiian rays. They prefer sand or muddy substrate. Typically, a benthic or bottom-dwelling animal that can be found at the borders of reefs. They are common in coastal bays including Ma'alea Bay on Maui and Kaneohe Bay on Oahu. Let's discover how to identify a broad ray. They are countershaded, being dark brown or gray on the dorsal surface and white or cream on their belly. Their body creates a diamond shape, where the disc width can reach lengths of 1.5 meters or 5 feet across. The width of the body is always longer than the length of the body. The leading edge of the pectoral flippers is almost straight, creating a nice diamond or kite shape. The Hawaiian name for the broad ray is lupe, which translate directly into kite. They have long, whip-like tails that are two times the length of their body. At the base of the tail hides a spine covered in small hook-like scales. The spine allows a gland to secrete a toxin that enters the victim if they're attacked. The broad rays are non-aggressive, bottom-dwelling rays. They will only attack when they feel threatened. They attack by whipping their tail up and over their body. The rays have been seen hiding in sand as shallow as 8 feet deep, but tend to live between 49 and 1,000 feet deep making the chances of an attack on a human less likely. Their eyes are located on the dorsal surface in front of two openings for respiration. The water flows through the body to the ventral or underside of the body and exits the gills. The ventral side is also home to the mouth of the ray. The mouth is lined with tiny teeth that look like sandpaper. So what do they eat with their sandpaper teeth? Do they eat wood? No. They eat bottom-dwelling crustaceans, worms, and small bony fish. The rays like feeding near the border of reefs and associate with parrotfish, wrasses, and gobies. These fish stir up what the rays eat, then the rays eat them. So how are the Hawaiian broad stingrays doing? They're doing great. The IUCN Red List has them listed as least concern. That is awesome. I love when populations of animals are healthy. That brings us to story time. I have not seen a broad ray in the wild. I have seen spotted eagle rays, just not broad. I met this male in the Maui Ocean Center. I could tell it was a male due to his size. Males are smaller than females. Males also have reproductive organs known as claspers, just like male sharks. He was in their large tank with an acrylic tunnel. The light was filtering down so nicely with the sharks and rays swimming around. I sat and watched the fish swim for probably an hour. Yes, I was sitting in the walking tunnel at the end of the aquarium for an hour. Don't knock it until you try it. I had to wait for an opportunity to get close to the animals to get great photos. I love watching things swim, especially rays. They make moving in the water look so effortless, like big gliders in the sea. 
Plus, their mouths look like they are always smiling. I love looking at happy swimming animals. I will call this adventure finished. Thank you so much for watching. It means so much that you take time to discover something new by watching this video. Thanks for liking, commenting, and subscribing. As always, links are down below where you can reach my website and my shop. Remember, share your discoveries and adventures with a friend. I've been Brandon, and I'll see you in our next adventure.